Hello everyone, this is Lucy05 and welcome to the Cobra Master Tutorial Review. And today, sorry, we're looking at the 2008 release by Jack Pacific of the Chronicles of Narnia Prince Caspian playset review. And today's playset review, we're looking at the Dulux Castle playset. Now, I got this from eBay and this only cost me $27 because I want it in a bit and it's really really cheap compared to most of the sellers who are selling it for at least $90 there and the sheer size of this playset is really worth it for $27 now let's take a look at the front porch of packaging itself now the front porch of packaging is really nice it actually displays the actual image of the toy itself despite that the image is really overblown because it doesn't actually show the entire image of it at least most of the portion as you can see the top section of the tower is cut half shot but you get to see everything else in the front here very nicely done very nicely done with the details as you can see from the front of the image itself laden with a lot of figures in the background there is all brick walls and stones and at the bottom is all those forest leaves on one corner here, it stated over 15 features, lights and sounds. Yes, this playset includes lights and sounds as well. Very nice. Here it shows two of the features. The battle on the dueling disc and the bottom section there. Here the drawbridge creek open. See the lights of the castle fire up. Very nice. Bottom section there stated includes seven pieces. Now I'm going to move the camera a little bit to show the sight of the packaging itself because this packaging is really huge here on the side of the packaging it also shows more features help Prince Caspian escape down the tower battle damage more reviews crossbow that really fires on the other side of the packaging as you can see it stated over 15 features including Battle on the dueling disc, beware the trapdoor, find the secret treasure, review the review and fire crossbow, change the crest, help Prince Caspian escape. The top section of the packaging is just the title of the packaging itself. Now I'm going to put the camera down. Here at the back portion of the packaging, it shows the back portion of the castle. That's what I really like about this packaging. It actually shows you everything for the playset. As the back portion also laden with a lot of figures. And also, smaller images shows all the features itself. One corner here stated beware the trap door to the dungeon. Showing the three images on one corner. Top section there stated help Prince Caspian recover his throne. Control dueling this. Store weaponry, weaponry in the armory. Watch out for the collapsing bridge. Top section here. Find the secret treasure. At the top corner here. Battle damage more. Reveals crossbow that really fires. Same image as from the front. Here the drawbridge creek open. See the lights of the castle fire up. Here we have here, help Prince Caspian escape down the tower. And finally, take over the castle and change the crest off to Narnian. As you can see there. Very nice all of the features has been listed out and also the details of the playset itself and then what's really nice about this playset i'm gonna move the box on one side because the box is humongous because this playset also is compatible to your three and a quarter inch figures so without further ado let's open up this packaging so we can molest the playset be right back and we're back after removing the castle out from the packaging itself let's take a look at what's being packaged inside the box itself now it does come with a instruction manual and it's just a single sheet of a folded up paper on one side here shows you on how to assemble the castle there are some parts but it's not really hard to assemble it's very easy to assemble there's also some accessories as well now on the other side of the manual itself it shows you what to do and what not to do with the batteries uh, speaking of the batteries it uses three AG13 button cell batteries and you place those batteries at the bottom section of the playing set like so which I'm gonna turn on the the playset 
There is the button here, the toggle. Switch on the playset. And yes, the entire playset is rather, well, hefty in weight. On the other side of the instruction manual shows you on how to activate all the features for the playset, which is very nice. And that's about it. Now, let's take a look at the size comparison of the playset. But first things first, now we're only going to look at the front portion of the castle itself because this entire thing is huge and it's going to take a long time to explain well everything if I'm going to go through the entire castles by color first, mold and then the features. It's just going to take too long. So I'm going to focus on one side first explaining everything then going to the back portion of the castle you will also notice that the camera is panned all the way back because the castle is extremely tall and I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit so you can see the height of the castle itself and the sheer white the width of the castle is rather huge now let's do a size comparison now the castle here is a 118 scale castle playset which is compatible to your well chronicles of Narnia three and a quarter inch figures but it's also compatible to well any of the three and a quarter inch figures be it the medieval fantasy well action figures or something like the Palisades Army of Darkness action figures the three and a quarter inch size or even better the three and a quarter inch inch for the G.I. Joe 25th anniversary or 30th anniversary figures as you can see this is the 25th anniversary Iron Grenadier Destro here you can actually place them quite nicely on any place onto the playset very nice now for the entire castle itself the entire castle, at least majority of the parts here, is actually made of a light grey plastic material colour. And there's quite a number of paint jobs, but there are some portions that's not painted, but just a tiny little bit of shading. But I'm going to move the camera up a little bit and move up a little bit closer. Let's take a look at the bottom section of the castle itself. There's a lot of rocks there, very nice mold of the rocks and the shading of the colors itself here we have the water here which is painted in blue you got the most of the rocks as, as well smaller rocks very nicely done with the details down it goes all the way on the other side here we have the moat top of it is the drawbridge of course the moat here in this section the water has been painted in blue very nicely done As you can see the walls here, they are all brick walls, very nice. Not all the walls are the same in mold, they are also in different sizes as well, very nice. You got the windows, got a nice little balcony here which is of course you cannot place any figure at the balcony which is rather disappointing. I'll show everyone what it looks like on the other side of the balcony. You got the more of the torches the torches here as you can see this entire piece is made of a gold plastic material color and the flames is made of a orange well at least more towards the yellow clear translucent plastic the entire drawbridge here the entire bridge here I'm going to move this a little bit this entire bridge is made of a light brown plastic material color as you can see the all this straps here these metallic straps are all painted and metallic paint job then the chains itself I'm gonna move this down is actually made of metal or in black very nicely done now what's disappointing on this part is that as you can see on the other side hidden behind the drawbridge is the weight the chain that hooks onto the weight itself now the weight itself it's also made of a light grey plastic material color and you get to see the details of the weight now you cannot pull 
the chain here because it's permanently stuck as you can see there's a small little peg there in between the chains so you cannot pull the drawbridge up or let it go so it's a little bit, little bit disappointing on that part but it's still all right because it's actually quite detailed stuff here very nicely done here is a small little button to activate the feature for the drawbridge so I'm, it's already turned on so I'm going to turn this entire drawbridge by pressing this small little button very nice as you can see the lines here is light up in red and you can hear the drawbridge being lowered down very nice sound effects there and you can close it like so and the lights are still on until you turn it off of course here we have the small little window and you get to see there's a small little pig here you can pull it down like so to reveal the hidden ballista as you can see this entire ballista lights is off of course the entire ballista is made of a light brown plaster material color there's a small little button here uh, at the bottom there's the peg this is where you connect there's the peg hole here that's where you connect the ballista there's also a few other places that it can connect as well here here and here very nice so let's take a look at the ballista now this is the ballista with the bow all folded in now it does come with the missile and the missile itself is made of a gold plastic material color and the head of the missile is the shape of an eagle now the eagle head here is made of a softer plastic material as you can see I can actually bend it but the entire piece is quite solid it's just it seemed like they actually wrapped the entire missile head with well the mode of the eagle's head and when you load the eagle on the missile itself you cannot load it like so facing forward as you can see here you cannot load it up you have to put it in reverse like so as you can see the bowl starts to spread apart this is a section where you plug in the ballista and I'm not too sure why they designed it this way but as you can see the eagle's head is upside down and yes when you place it onto the paint it can go it can go left and right but if you place it on top of the walls itself it can turn 360 degrees by pressing the button you launch the missile place this back in close it up now let's take a look at the bridge there are two bridges actually this is one part of the bridge itself the wooden floors here is all painted in light brown there's a little bit of shading there the entire tower here you can see there's a lot of nice shading colors very nice but what I'm disappointed is that on the other side of the wall as you can see it's all flat out there's no details at all there's a lot of nice details of the bricks itself but there are no details on the other side very nice top section of the tower you get to see gold paint job there's a lot of shading as well gold paint job that goes from the other side as well very nice a lot of shading there top section of the tower I am a bit disappointed that they don't actually cover the screw holes as you can see you get to see the screws there no details here it's all flat out so that's the top section of the bridge here we have a smaller gimmick which I'm gonna show later but you can see the wooden floors are all painted except for the tram door which is made of a light brown plastic material color here we have stone floors with wooden planks as you can see all painted this is the dueling disc 
gimmick, which I'm going to show later. Top section of the tower here. It's quite bendy, but so you have to be careful here on this part. This trap door is already open, which I forgot to close it. It's made of a light brown plastic material color. It's all painted. On the other side of the edges of the wall here, there's, un there's nice little details, which I'm going to show later. Here is the top section of the tower. You can actually place a figure behind the section which I'm going to show later. Here is one of the gimmick where you can change the crest by pushing it in like so. It swings to the other side. Very nice. Move the camera back a little bit. Very nice. The front, front portion of the castle itself is very well done. Let's take a look at the back portion. Now, this is the back portion of the castle. Now, the castle also comes with a few accessories. Here we have a shield made of a like grey plastic material color. There's a peg hole here. On the other side, it's painted in gold. And there's a lot, a lot of rivets, smaller details there. Of course, mm, well, none of the action figures can actually wield the shield, which is kind of disappointing. But you can plug in here to the weapon rack over there. I'm gonna bring the they set closer a little bit and show the weapon rack. As you can see, there's small little pegs there. You can actually plug in. Like so. The other accessory is a skimita or well a sword made of a light grey plastic metal color and the handle is painted in gold and you can hang the sword like so very nice there's also a tune here which is a separate piece and it doesn't actually connect to any place at all now the entire thing is made of a gold plastic material color and the mold here is quite nicely done you got a star here got a nice little image in this section as well very detailed tone even the bottom section as well and you can basically place it on the top of the tower itself or make room of the balcony and place it there which makes more sense anyway quite well done so I'm going to place it up there Let's take a look at the bottom section. I'm gonna bring the place even more closer. I'm gonna push this down first. So there's more lighting. Stone floors, very nicely done. This is the weight itself that is attached with the chain. Very nice. This section here is painted in light brown plastic, uh, light brown paint job. Here we have the cell door and the details of the cell door is quite nice. The entire thing is made of a gold plastic material color, but there's a lot of nice rivets. And smaller locks there, handles, and you can open it like so. On the other side, there's a bit of details of the rivets. At least it's not flat out, so this is well done. Here we have the gel cell, as you can see. Just an empty room with stone floors and stone walls there and they actually painted the planks as you can see very well done now if I move the camera up a little bit you get to see the sorry for the shadows but you get to see us two manacles located at the this section here it's a pity they don't actually use well actual, actual chains with the manacles so you can actually lock figures there it will be very nice now what's really not nice about this is that bottom section of the walls here there are details but the 
top section of the walls, there's barely any details at all. You get to see some shape of the bricks itself, but no details. You get to see the windows, but it's quite flat out. Here we have the balcony. And this section of the balcony, you can, well, lift it up like so. For whatever purpose, I have no idea. But you can lift it down like so. The entire piece of the railings here is made of a gold plastic material color. And we have a logo here, the sticker placed onto the crest itself. This entire piece is made of a light gray plastic material color. And I'm not sure why they do this, but it actually don't have much of a function. I really read the instruction manual. There's not much of a function here by folding it up. You have a nice little balcony though. And yet you still have nice little details as well on the stone floor. So I'm gonna move up this part closer. As you can see, nice details of the paint job and the mold. Here is the ballista where you can push down to open the window. Here is the gate itself, made of a light grey plastic window color with a little bit of shading. And here, a small little toggle here. When you slide on the to the left side, this entire gate will shut down. So, so I'm gonna slide down like so. This is how it looks. So you can push it back all the way up until you hear a click and it locks it into place. Here's the back portion of the rocks itself and the water. Here we have the tower itself and this is the elevator gimmick. This is the small little peg here, a large little peg actually, where you can lift the character all the way down or all the way up like so. I'm gonna put in a figure. First I'm gonna push it all the way at the back. Let's put in Cobra Commander in because as you can see the platform here actually has three pegs. So you can actually place in well three figures. I'm gonna place in the figure into the elevator. As you can see, all you have to do is just lift it up. And you can stop midway as well with no problem. It doesn't seem to plug in very well on for the pegs. What's nice about this elevator, at least it works compared to the Spawn Alley action play set. Pick doesn't work, doesn't plug in properly for this figure. There you go. As you can see, you can stop midway without any problems at all because there's actually, as you can see, the teeth there, there's the stoppers. Very nice, very well designed on the elevator. Way better than the Spawn uh, Action Alley playing set. I'll move this one side. Close everything up first. Let's move up to the top section. The bridge. Here is a small little button. And this is where you place a figure to activate the, the trap door. I'm gonna bring in Cobra Commander thing. Have him stand on top. As you can see now, that's the button. Very nice. The other trap door is located at this section. Again, I'm gonna place Cobra Commander here. That's the button. So once you press the button, the figure will fall down into the prison cell. Like so. Very nice. 
let's take a look at the smaller rubbish the details on the top here at the throne room this section here which is quite nicely done with the more details of the eagle's head and the castle itself this is where you store the hidden treasure like so too bad on the other side it's all flat out so there's this section here we've got the throne room top section here you can place a figure or two here is the dueling disc barrel gimmick you can see there are two discs here each disc has a smaller peg and here is a dial where when you turn the dial the disc will turn simulating a sword fight but there's also a bit more first things first I'm gonna set up the figures Here we have the two figures armed with the swords. By turning the down, you get to hear a little bit of sound effect. Very nice. Very nicely done. I move the castle to the back by removing the figures first. Very nicely done. This entire castle, although not and not really entirely all detailed stuff, because there are some parts that are not detailed, some parts are all flat out. For example, even the inside of the tower itself is all, is all flat out. So there are some portions that are not detailed. But majority majority of the playset itself is rather fun and it's rather huge. There's a lot of nice details for the entire castle itself. The paint job is actually not bad and it's, it doesn't look dirty or messy at all. There are some parts that's a little bit, well, dirty but I'm still alright with that. The gimmicks are actually quite fun, especially on the drawbridge itself the gates, the dueling disc itself, even the elevator works. So what's not to like? It's way better than the spawn action alley playset. And it's compatible to your one and it to your well to your 118 scale figures or three and a quarter inch figures. And it's compatible to fit in with your 118 scale buildings and playsets. What's not to like? The pricing is one problem though. It's quite hard to find this in mint in box and majority of people who sell this tends to sell it at at least $90 there so it's really expensive but if you get to find anyone in eBay selling it in a bid if you can win it less than $50 then this is a good buy this is a really good buy and I managed to get this for $27 what's not to like it's way cheaper than the spawn alley, action alley set but it only fits in the medieval fantasy team so if you have any modern figures it may not fit it depends on the team itself so if I'm gonna give a rating for this deluxe castle playset I would say I'll give it a nice a nice 9 out of 10 9 out of 10 for this playset because it's really worth it if you can afford well if you pay it less than $50 of course if it's $90 it's just way too expensive so 9 out of 10 for the castle deluxe playset this is Lucy05 and I'm signing off